Hey there, baseball fans, it's Ben, and I'm back with another box from this random collection that I bought recently. This one is brown, which is a different thing, and it does say some things on it. So this says, Coca-Cola Mix 1992 Upper Deck Repeats Score. <laughs> so it really could be just about anything. Let's open her up and see what we have. Again, I have no idea what's in these. I bought these sight unseen. And... It does look like quite a mix here. I don't see any 1992 upper deck, so that was a complete lie. Let's uh, just start ripping and start pulling and see what we can find. All right, we definitely, I mean, and listen, I, I'm expecting all junk wax here, but, ooh, look at this, the, the game. These are NBA cards that are unscratched. I'll put those aside as something separate. Uh, we are gonna be multi-sport friends. So we got some football, Wade Wilson. All right, then we got some 1991 Tops, which you guys know I love for the glowback stuff. Let's put that. Oh, it looks like this is some, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hockey too, we got hockey, hockey Guy Carboneau. All right, Ron Suter, Pat Jablonski. So that's what we got some 1995 Tops Bazooka which I'm very familiar with. I opened a rack bo uh, wax box of that before. Okay, so there's that. Then we have uh, some Pro Set Platinum. Also very familiar with that. And back to our baseball junk wax. Oh, we got a Mark Grace. There's one for my PC, 1992 Donruss. So that's a good one for me. No one else would really care about that, but I do. The O Brothers, there's a Ripken uh, combo of Billy and Cal, so that's our first kind of decent card there. There's another Cal Ripken, 1988 Tops. Hey, and there's the Eddie Murray Tops Record Breaker, not the error with the box printed on the front. All right, so we're not going to be all commons. Oh, and then we get some uh, 1991 Hoops, NBA Hoops. That's basketball, so that's our first basketball. Oh, actually, basketball... Scratch off cards over there. There's Tom Newberry for football. Yeah, these are just all over the place, folks. There's an Andres Galarraga, the big cat. I'll put him aside. I do like that. Looks like by the by the shape of things here, we have a lot of 1988 Topps baseball in here. All right. The problem with these uh, Pro Set Platinum is that they don't put their names on the front, so you have to look back. There's the Montreal Machine from the World League, the short-lived. World League, there's a Jack Morris, 92 Donruss, Eric Kramer, and we got some 87 Tops Baseball, Ron Gant, Ruben Sierra, Paul Molitor, Carlos Baerga, Jack McDowell, oh, that's Manny Ramirez right there, almost missed that one. Dante Bichette, playing for the Rockies. Tim Salmon. Some more football here. Jay Hildenberg, Super Bowl. There's Oral Hershiser. There's, hey, there's a Nolan Ryan, another one for my PC. Put that aside there. And we got some 91 tops. Add those to my 91 tops collection. There's the Alomar Brothers, Jorge Bell, there's a Fred McGriff and George Bell, Jorge Bell there, and Eric Bell. All the bells, all the bells you can imagine. But not the whistles, just the bells. Oh, it's a terrible dad joke. We've got a lot of giants in this 1988 tops. Just fly through these, because this is an 800 count box, so we're gonna have a lot of cards to go through. There's a Jack Morris. We know he's a Hall of Famer. Kirk Gibson. Yeah, looks like they're kind of by team here. There's a Wally Joyner on the team card. Looks like some more hockey coming up. Teddy Higuera. There's Sean Dunstan. There's one for my PC. Lee Smith. Some 86. Rob Deer. I 
do have a lot of 1986 tops that I'm putting together, so I'm putting those aside right now. I might have missed them already. There's a, another hockey card for us. John Olerud, Gary Sheffield, Paul O'Neill over on the Yankees. Danny Tartable, there's Randy Johnson, the big unit. Some Brewers players here, 88 tops. Moreland, and a random Dan Marley basketball card stuck in there. Yep, these are all over the place. This is kind of, even more so, we get the Penguin. Is that Danny DeVito as the Penguin? Is that who played the Penguin? I thought it was. Maybe not, though. So that's completely random. There's Batman cards from the second Batman movie of the uh, 80s or 90s, if I recall. All the Cleveland Indians. 88 tops. There's an Eric Karos. Juan Gonzalez, that's a good one. Mark Grace, hey, there you go, from our PC. Love those PC hits. Mike Piazza, Eddie Murray, Roberto Alomar, Jeff Kent. Not as rookie because it's 95, but close. Come on. Working hard for Ed Nunez there. There's a Paul Molitor and Brett Butler. Another Paul Molitor, 88 Fleer, and a 92 Fleer. So plenty of Molly in there. Old Molly, as I like to call him. All right, there's another 86. There's Paul O'Neill, 89 tops. There's a Cal Ripken and Eddie Murray. Yes, so we're getting plenty of these. Mike Messina. Plenty of these stars and Yvonne Rodriguez. Stars and Hall of Famers or semi stars. There's a Bob Gibson. Turning back the clock. Wouldn't that be amazing if there was actually a 1968 Bob Gibson just floating around in here? That would be remarkable, but highly doubtful. So, what this labeling tells me is that. The labels on these boxes, such as they are, there's Don, a couple Don Sutton, he's a Hall of Fame pitcher as well, um, are possibly accurate, but possibly not. So it doesn't really tell you a whole lot. There's the big cat, Andres Galarraga. There's Kenny Lofton, Palmero, Ozzy Smith, Sean Dunstan, again, a PC hit there for me. I love it. All day long. I don't care how many of those I already have. I just like getting them. There's the Braves crew who threw a combined no-hitter. Another 86 for me. Don Baylor. I don't know. We get Anthony Mason. We're into basketball cards here. John Starks. Hey, look at that. We've got some uh, 81 tops Detroit Tigers, Sparky Anderson. Hey, there's Chris Mullen. So there's a good basketball star. Chris Mullen again. Mitch Richmond, Charles Oakley, Tom Chambers, and Charles Oakley. All right, so there's some basketball. Then we are moving on to Rick Donnelly. Football card, random one there. And Tim somebody. David Cohn. Nothing terribly interesting in here. Just a couple Cecil Fielder cards. I don't know if it's Cecil or Cecil. I always said Cecil. There's the Necro Brothers. So Field, of course, made the Hall of Fame while his brother did not. Dave Winfield, 88 tops. The Vince Coleman. I like to put a little Vince Coleman collection together. Vincent Van Gogh. 
by the Negro Brothers. There's a sticker. I'll put that aside. Got some more stickers here. These are the Panini stickers, I think, actually. Yeah. Panini team stickers. If you like that sort of thing. Here's a blank back of nothing. Okay, we'll throw that one away. And then the Fleer stickers. Some more of that basketball scratch off. Eric Kersh, look at this Donruss Studio 2001. It's kind of a random one to have in here of all this junk wax and then a 2001 popping up. But that's what happens. So Jeff Russell, no blacklists there. I'm always watching these 1990 tops looking for any of those blacklist cards. There's a Jim Rice, turn back the clock. 86s to add to my pile of that. These are fairly organized by team, but not entirely. It's more 1991 tops. And a Donruss puzzle piece. Now that is a fake autograph if I ever saw one. Someone trying to forge a Mark Langston autograph on the back there. So there's that. Team logo sticker. Just turned all these around and I was wrong. There we go. How about you guys? Do you guys like to keep all your cards in your collection upright and straight? There's a Gary Sheffield. Or do you just let them be every, every which way? I tend to there's a Dino Raja, basketball. Let me know in the comments if you are a straightener and a right wayer, or if you just fly through them regardless of every which way that they might be facing. So Dwight Smith, rookie card. Ooh, tops traded rookie card for him. That was a big year for him. He was runner for rookie of the year right behind Jerome Walton, his teammate. Some more team stickers for Fleer. Stickers. All right, since an instant 89, Don Russ. So Robin Young, 90 tops. An 89 Don Russ, of course, we would be looking for a Griffey rookie. It's probably the only real major or interesting card in that set beyond the folks that we're always kind of looking for hall of famers and whatnot and pc cards but really nothing nothing to show for there's a day winfield i'll take that sean dunston there's my pc hit all right so that's good Bruce Suter, another Hall of Fame closer there. Alan Trammell, an MVP Hall of Famer. Yep, yep, yep. Lots of 89 Don Rice. Oral Hershizer. Flying through these. Dave Winfield, MVP. At least these are all in proper position. And these are not, this is not a set break because I can feel these are Bruce Suter. I can feel on the back of these, there's, there's an Alan Trammell. You can see the sequencing um, repeating here, but also I can feel on the back of a few of these, some wax stains. So these were definitely wax packs that were opened up by somebody and then thrown in this box. Harold Baines, Keith Hernandez, probably pulling Keith out. 
And we finish it up with Mike Campbell. Not Mike Campbell from the Heartbreakers, Mike Campbell from the Mariners. All right, so nice little stack here of Hall of Famers and or semi-stars kind of folks. Some random hockey, some random football, some 86 tops for me, one 1981 tops, some random basketball, a few 1991 tops, and a few PC hits for me with a couple Sean Dunstans and Mark Grace and Owen Ryan. So all in all, nice little box with the Penguin. See you guys next time.